Hey guys, we are at our destination. It's not a hotel, it's uh, a boys' room actually. Uh, we have like a little room that is separate from the private room off the side in the sea of beds. So I'm glad I can make it. So yeah, it's this little room as you can see. Ooh, there are three beds in here. Um, they gave us a nice bucket that we can put in the water to take a bath. It would be nice because we're all gross. And so we're going to travel today. We're tired. Uh, it's another one of those horrible days. Um, this is going back to Magalaya. We had a few days so far like this on the trip where we tried to go really far on one day and you take many different forms of transportation but you don't get to eat or sleep or like pee or do anything between any of these things and that can be stressful because it just adds to the stress of travel and you don't know the language and you're crossing between states and the culture is different, the people are different, the language is different and you're kind of all factor. So that happened today. Um, but we're just happy that we found a place. We spent ages, we're in Siltra by the way, I have um, we spent ages just driving around in an auto. We got off the train. Um, the train ride was great. It was like 10, 11 hour train. We just watched shows the whole time on our computer. So after the ride, like I think we had a whole series of sites on there. Um, so we blasted through season two. And uh, yeah, so that passed the time quickly. Uh, not a lot. There's tons of snacks. Like people come on to sell snacks on the train. Um, have a little bit of money that. But it's not like we don't always trust it. We don't always feel confident in places like this where we don't know people, we don't know the food, we don't know if it's clean, if it's handled properly. It's just not worth getting sick. For me, it's worth waiting a little bit longer, being a little bit more hungry, and then getting something you feel that you know you're not going to be able to later. Right, the auto. The auto ride. We got off the train. We found these two young guys. We we're gonna ask them, do you know where we can find a hotel? They're like, well, we're travelers too. They're from one's from Kolkata, one's from Chennai, South India. So they're both trying to find a hotel. Also trying to figure out if they were gonna go somewhere else. They both had to go somewhere, um, but if not find a hotel. So we said, let's figure that out together. Let's find somewhere to go. And the one young guy was super nice. The one from Kolkata, he said, I'll help you find a hotel. So we went and we got an auto to get the four of us. The one guy went off to Shillong and our Kolkata buddy, um, he decided to stay with us in the West and we just went from place to place. We went to like over a dozen hotels again. I think last time we were in a song in Kohati. That was also horrible. Um, you get stuck at night and you just go from place to place to place. Everywhere has reason, reason, excuses as to why we can't stay. Um, most of them say no vacancies and no, there are vacancies, they just don't want to give it to foreigners, which, okay, like, do you want money or not? Obviously not. So the issue was they either didn't want us to stay or they had some policy about not allowing visitors, um, or there were issues with the beds, like they said, the bed is too small for you. And we were like, well, why don't you sleep on the floor? They're like, no, we don't allow that. Which isn't really none of your business how we decide to sleep in a hotel. Like, seriously, we're paying for the room. We do whatever we want in there. Well, to, you know what I'm saying. To, to so, we just went from place to place and we got really frustrated and started getting later. I mean, it was just getting ridiculous. So we're like, do we now just get a vehicle and go somewhere else to another city and just move on? We're trying to get to Impal. Um, do we just take, like, hire a vehicle and drive there and that we'll slip in the car for the night on the way there? Um, 
apparently none of the things was available. Everything was like crazy expensive. They were going to charge like a ridiculous rate. So we said, we'll just go. This is our last place. Whatever they say at this next hotel, we'll just take it. And then it being this, this boys' youth hostel, um, which was great. We had to come here at registration. And they said, okay, go check out the room. So you have to walk up the street and inside this building, look at their room, go back to registration, and then show your passport. Photocopies always take like a million of these everywhere. Border crossings, um, um, hotels, uh, all kinds of like even like some transportation. They need photocopies of your passport for everything, and it's a nightmare to run around and try and find one and then spend extra money trying to print them and then they try and be off for that. Just like print like 50 of them and bring them with you. It's worth it. Even not 50, but like 10 at least. On our trip, we've used probably that many so maybe bring like 50 so we dropped off our passport copies and then we had to come back to this place uh, which is fine but the auto driver crazy man he is he demanded that we pay 1600 rupees for driving us around to this hotel it's 8 30 p.m it's not like two o'clock in the morning and like that's like a week. If he was driving us for a week, maybe. Yeah, that's okay. But like seriously, the guy that was with us, like, like maximum four hundred, and even that is crazy. Like for if any of you are from India and you're hearing this and like you can think right away in Indian movies, sixteen hundred for maybe two hours, less than two hours of driving around, and he was eating snacks. And sitting the entire time. I was in the auto with this guy. It's an And then we're arguing with him, like, no, that's that's absolutely absurd. I'm not giving you that much. We'll give you how much actually the rate should be. And our friend had to leave. He had to go back to the train station, see if he can get a train to where he needs to go. And the guy wouldn't have it. He was fighting with us, shouting, and then of course that draws all this attention. There causes a scene. There's all these people on the street watching and staring. But then people kind of they realize, you know, we're, <laughs> they can see from afar that we're foreigners. But when they get closer, they realize, okay, they don't speak the language, they're having trouble with this guy, so they start asking questions. But they're helpful. There's, there's a contrast. There's some people that are just having a bad day, or a bad year, or a bad life. And then there are people that are super helpful. And on this trip, we have seen that, like, people that have been so helpful to us, like, extraordinary human kindness. Like our buddy Gautam from Guwahati um, that just stopped on the side of the road and picked us up and drove us all the way up to Guwahati from Shillong. Like that was amazing. Um, our Nepali buddy at the border of Bangladesh, he saved our life. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. See, these are good memories. We, some of the worst days, like we've had such frustrating memories horrible days where you just think you're gonna die and everything goes wrong and it's a nightmare and especially with Nathan's health like feeling sick and exhausted and disgusting and angry and then we meet these people that come out of nowhere and they just save the day so it's not like we're complaining about the whole situation it's just a contrast of people people are people people are different and it's just learning to flow of the frustration of life because it happens. So far this trip has not gone at all the way we thought it would. It's in no way the same trip that we had planned when we went through fall. It's completely transformed. Day by day it's changing. We don't even know what we're doing tomorrow. Our goal is to get into money for Our goal is to reach in fall the capital city and stay there for maybe five, six days. But we'll see if we can do that. We don't know. Because there's also issues with them state of money for allowing foreigners, not allowing foreigners. People are having issues with foreigners coming uh, with paperwork. They want to have a special permit, kind of like they do with Evernesha. And so we do have to register. I don't think we have to pay a fee. We just have to, once we cross the border into that state, within 24 hours, we register. We just sign some paperwork. We copy the passport. And we um, just let them know how long we're staying. So just remember this, like some of these states, they do your research, 
which will be probably watching this video because there's nothing online, I shouldn't say do your research. Although, by the time some of you who are watching now, come here if you can check it out. But sometimes the stuff isn't online, that's why we're done. This has been a very long, drawn up video for you all. Nathan's having a shower. And we're about to eat some biryani or momo, we don't know. These guys are going to get some food for us. Another example of kindness and love. We like you, India. Morning. It's day 56 of our trip in India. We're in Siltar, Assam. We got a good night's rest. Although, this has got to be the worst hotel we've stayed in before. It was out of desperation. And it was a convenient spot after we went to 20 or so hotels and being rejected. So, the beds felt like the last person in it was a baby who built a sand castle and then peed in it. Uh, and our pillows are not sanitarily looking, nor I imagine are they sanitary. So we wrapped our pillows, Danica in a shawl, mine in my lungi, and sure there was as much no contact between us and the bed as possible anyways the climate was okay here we got a good night's rest so today we're entering the state of Manipur now Manipur is usually avoided because they have regular strikes and for that reason you can't enter or exit use the roads or anything Hopefully today there won't be a strike. Uh, the thing is, we also need a permit for there and we were getting conflicting information about what we need. Whether we have to stop before the border when we're still in Assam, in Jiribam, uh, or whether we can just grab the permit in Jiribam and continue going on the Sumo to Imphal, or whether we can arrive in Imphal and within 24 hours get a permit for there. So we have to see actually what we're going to need to do. And for breakfast, we have the porridge packets that we showed you before. Danica really doesn't want to eat them, but they were a gift and we're curious to know how oatmeal with carrots and onion and some other dehydrated vegetables, tomato it looks like, tastes. Homestyle masala. The hotel Malik has been very helpful. Hopefully he'll be able to give us some hot water. And we've got some coffee packets and we've got this and we'll enjoy that and we're on the road that goes to Infop. It will be easy to get a sumo. Stay tuned.